Hi folks, Dr. Ed Beyer. Today we're going to be talking about something really important that happens in all of us in our gastrointestinal systems. And I want to kind of discuss it at length a little bit so you have a really good understanding. And that is the production of short-chain fatty acids. These are produced in our, in our GI, in our gastrointestinal system, by the fermentation of dietary fiber that we eat in our diets by the gut flora, by the bacteria that are in our gut. This is very, very important. They produce these short-chain fatty acids known as butyric acid, propionate, and acetic acid. These are very important. Number one, they're used for energy. The butyric acid is used for energy for the cells in our colon so that they can regenerate. Our cells are constantly dying and being replaced in our gut. And that's really important that we have butyric acid or the short-chain fatty acid for that. It's also used to repair our gut lining. Every time we eat, there's some trauma caused to our gastrointestinal system, like scratching your skin. Every time you scratch your skin, we're killing skin cells and they need to be replaced. Same thing with eating, we're kind of irritating our gut lining and so the cells are constantly turning over and we need these short chain fatty acids for that. They're also very anti-inflammatory. They suppress inflammation, which is the one common thread in all chronic illness. First thing we have to do with all of our patients is suppress inflammation. They are anti-carcinogenic, short chain fatty acids suppress cancer, and they're very important for immune regulation. In our immune system, we have these cells called T regulatory lymphocytes. These T regulatory lymphocytes keep our immune system balanced and they need short chain fatty acids to work properly. When those cells are working by, uh, because the short chain fatty acids are giving them energy and help them to work, we avoid things like allergies, autoimmune disease, cancer, and on and on and on. So this is something that we look at in our lab testing. We use Great Plains Lab at the current moment, and they actually test for this, and you test our patients' levels, and we know whether or not they're appropriate or not. I'm Dr. Byer. I hope that helps. Have a great day.